think it was it was a I think I just had a game plan. I had a brilliant game plan. The game plan was to be out be very outspoken. You know, I was born with personality. I was born with charisma. Speak my mind. Speak from the heart. You know, I don't hate or dislike anyone. But I want to go out there, you know, and just do what I have do what I have to do inside that square circle. Um, choose a tremendous a tremendous team on the outside um, that's going to help me take things to the next level, and that's what I did. There's no blueprint on how to beat me. I can crack any Da Vinci Code when I'm in that ring. I'm the best. Right now, do you believe you're the best in the world? I, I feel I'm the best ever. I broke everybody's record. Tell me who record I haven't broke. It's not bragging or boasting. Mm -hmm. The proof is in the pudding. Men lie, women lie. Numbers don't lie. Doesn't matter who it is. Doesn't matter the Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Robinson, Muhammad Ali. Doesn't matter. I respect them. I take my hat off to them. But you think I gave this sport my whole life to say there's another fighter that's better than me? Absolutely not. You got fighters that may be faster than me. You got fighters that may hit harder than me. You got fighters that's very athletic. But you don't have no fighter that can make adjustments like me. You don't have fighters that can be on my level mentally. It's never personal for me. It's always business. Every, every other fighter fight for certain things. Everybody fight for what they fight for. My thing is this. I keep my eyes on the prize. I never focus on things outside the ring. My focus is the guy that's in front of me. You get to where you're trying to get to by staying focused, staying on a parallel path. I always had a dream. And my dream was to be the best. No matter what happens, Saturday, when it comes down to boxing, I'm the best at this. To become great, you have to follow, you have to follow greatness. But to become a, um, it's like to become a great leader, you have to be a great follower. And um, to be successful, you gotta, you gotta wanna follow success. And I want every fighter to just stay focused, stay on the parallel path. Some guys game, some guys game plan, we gonna, we gonna rush him. Make down, we gonna rush him. Okay, what's your second game plan? That's plan A, what's plan B? Pacquiao, he can set the trap for other fighters. But you can't set the trap for Floyd Mayweather. Because you got to have plan A, you have to have plan B, and have to plan, if you don't have a plan B, then you go to plan C. I've never beat a fighter with my A game. Jealousy, people jealous of you, comes with success. So anytime you're successful, people are going to be jealous of you. When people when people in there are always going to like you. Sometimes when you're in class, certain people, some people don't like you when you're in school, right? But that don't stop you from going, right? And you still go there and be your best, right? So same thing like my job. I still go there and do, be, be at my best. I want to thank my team, because without my team, all this wouldn't be possible. Um, it's been a long road, it's been a long journey, but, you know, hard work and dedication paid off. You know, it's, it's always been one of my dreams, you know, to come back to the motherland, and I'm here now. It took, it took 36 years, but I'm here, and um, I want to thank all you guys for the support. I mean, every time I go out there, in fight, I, I, I just don't represent the red, white, and blue. You know, Floyd Mayweather represents the world. And I had a lot of support. And once again, 
I didn't do it by myself. I had a tremendous team and a lot of people supporting me. And for all those that came, you know, flew over to Las Vegas to see me or where, wherever I was fighting at, you know, I'm very, very thankful for everybody that, that bought pay-per-view and for my team working with you guys to get me over here. <clears throat> it's truly a dream come true.